Hey guys, uh, after I dropped the uh, LVS video, I got the same question multiple times and I'm just gonna address it in this forum to make it easier. Uh, so I don't have to answer it all the time and hopefully explain why I said what I said a little bit better. All right, so uh, folks would say, hey, how does the LVS compare to an AVS or a JPC or Faro or Spiritus or whatever other plate carrier uh, that they have experience with and my response was kind of they don't all right so you know we look at a typical plate carrier right and it is designed to carry rifle plates um, which may or may not be icw plates or standalone plates so you may have a soft armor backer behind it but when we're talking plate carriers mbav being the goofy exception uh, your soft armor backer is still sappy cut or swimmer cut or whatever hard plate. Uh, it, it fills the exact same footprint. The MBAV, I don't understand why they exist. Uh, nothing wrong with them. It's just another another thing to keep track of. But their soft armor backer is, uh, it has about an inch of, of wing on it for whatever reason. That, uh, somebody cared about having that much more frag protection. Right, so plate carrier, right, very small package. We can't make the vest any smaller because we have to contain the rifle plate inside of it, and that is driving the shape of the vest. LBT 6094 and a couple other exceptions out there are a little bit different. They have some added bulk to them, so the 6094 has essentially rectangular rear plate bags. It doesn't need that to fit the plate, but they have that, so you get a little bit more uh, Molly real estate on something like a 6094. Uh, the, the plate carrier 24 here, JPC, AVS, all of those, the footprint is the rifle plate. Uh, so you physically cannot fit more equipment on there because they wanted to streamline the package. All right, so now let's look at what the LVS is and kind of explain why I said what I said. All right, so the, the LVS kind of has a little bit of a life of its own due to being uh, kind of permanently contoured. So bear with me if this doesn't show up super well. Uh, but we've got the LVS here, and then I've got a bulk soft armor panel dropped behind it uh, to further accentuate this point. All right, so the LVS is not a plate carrier uh, by design. It is a full cut soft armor setup that can also hold rifle plates. So with the tactical cover on there, it does have a rifle plate pocket, uh, but it also contains the soft armor. So when you're looking at the soft armor, the LVS is probably the most aggressively cut soft armor that I've seen outside of MBAV or just plate backers. All right, so the, the height of the plate bag is essentially your, the same height as your rifle plate, at least on the front. On the sides, it expands a little bit more. So these radio pockets or magazine pockets here, they are they're reinforced uh, by the soft armor that extends out the sides. Uh, and you can see that accentuated even further with the bulks carrier here. So this is the front panel for bulks. And you can see we've got essentially, uh, you know, twice again, the the footprint there coming off the side of the, place, but the plate bag. All right, so when you're looking at there, I don't know the best term for it, so I just call it full cut body armor versus uh, plate carrier. All right, so like your old school, your Eagle Cirrus, um, your your Arbav, uh, you know IOTV interceptor body armor. All of those were first and foremost full cut armor carriers that could then take rifle plates. All right, so kind of the driving factor behind things like this is. Uh, if you don't need rifle plates, it's, it's kind of protection from pistol rounds uh, that covers more of your body. Uh, in my world, it was frag protection that gets you more coverage because I don't need a rifle plate to stop frag. I need soft armor, and hopefully I want the, the biggest soft armor footprint that is reasonable to work with. Uh, so that's why we went with bulks instead of like IOTV. IOTV is an, an obnoxious amount of coverage, especially if you throw in all the extra parts. Right, so uh, when I say that it does not compare to the AVS or JPC or Faro or Spiritus, 
my point is if you need the armor that the LVS is designed to carry and 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 is uh then a plate carrier is not going to work for you. You you don't have the coverage that you want with a plate carrier. And if you don't need that, then there's really no reason to get the LVS. It's an incredibly expensive setup for armor that you don't need if you're comparing it to a plate carrier. Um, and that is, you know, further accentuated on the the back armor here. So this is the back panel for bulks. And if I line this up with the top of the plate bag there, you can see I have all of this coverage extending lower on my back. Uh, so you can you can fully mount something like a yote on the back of a bulks carrier and not have any overhang because it's that much longer than a rifle plate. And actually, let me grab a rifle plate real quick and show you kind of how that compares. So if we've got our our medium uh, plate, medium bulks here, and I want my plate as high as I can get it. Uh, for that coverage, you can see on the bottom of that, uh, there's a good bit of, of excess coverage. And there's there's probably a, a similar but lesser amount on the front here. You know, if I top that off, there's still two inches on the bottom of that. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to play some sort of gimmick when I say that the LVS can't or shouldn't be compared to plate carriers, it's just, it's a different animal, right? It's closer to the same animal than bulks or IOTV or IBA, but it is still a different animal. Um, and, and so your, your mission is going to drive that train. And if you need frag protection or pistol protection that encompasses more of your body, and you're not just worried about immediately lethal shots, this is what you're working with. If you're only worried about stopping the things that are going to take you out of the fight right now, then a plate carrier might be what you want. And, and if you if that's what you want, absolutely go with a plate carrier so you get that smaller footprint, you're more mobile, you've got more agility, and uh, can deal with whatever problem arises a little bit easier. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, not, not, trying to, not trying to rustle any jimmies, just explaining the difference because a lot of people, I think, forget that full-cut armor exists, uh, which is totally fine. Thanks, guys.